Several pieces of anti-immigrant legislation have moved forward in Virginia's General Assembly, but not without notice in Northern Virginia. Our Peggy Fox joins us now from Falls Church, where a rally is underway this afternoon. Peg, who are they and what? Well, I tell you, they are people from Virginia's immigrant communities rallying here against measures that would put up roadblocks to education and bring Arizona's anti-immigrant crackdown to Virginia. You don't feel welcome and you don't feel safe. Leaders in the immigrant communities of Northern Virginia are alarmed. They are worried about several pieces of legislation working through the General Assembly that they believe would discriminate against them and their families. It's unacceptable. Uh, these are hard-working uh, families who come here to provide for their families a better life, a share of the American dream. Uh, they're going to provide them with a share of the American nightmare. One bill would replicate Arizona's 287G law, which requires police to check the immigration status of people they pull over. Leaders here say that law would undermine the hard work underway, building bridges between this community and police, and would create distrust. You feel attacked, right? So the police are no longer your ally because they are, are mandated to um, you know, investigate immigration status regardless of probable cause or anything like that. For parents here, one of the most frightening pieces of legislation would have schools keep track of the numbers of undocumented children and also the children in ESOL, English as a second language classes, and report those numbers to the state. If I'm an undocumented parent and I have a U.S. citizen child and if my documents are not correct, then my child can go to school. That's one that's uh, to me is very uh, un-American. Now the leaders pass out these postcards, dear Senator, and they want everybody here at the rally to sign them and send them to the senators in the legislature. They don't have any dear delegates because in the House of Delegates that's where most of the anti-immigrant legislation started. So they're going to work on the Senate and hope after this crossover and the bills cross over that they can have the Senate stop those measures. I'm Peggy Fox reporting Law Falls Church. Back to you, Leslie. All right, Peg, we'll see what happens.